What if you made some kind of big mistake and you ended up being stuck in prison over Christmas? Sweet. I'm watching the Wuz Eye show. Since it's Christmas time, none of us would ever want to, you know, be stuck in prison. But the thing is, there's, there's hundreds of thousands of people that are in prison over Christmas time. And if we put ourselves in their shoes, they, made, they probably made some kind of terrible mistake in their life. I don't, I don't know what they did, you know, they did all kinds of stuff from rape to, uh, I don't know what, what, what they all did, from theft, I don't know. But the thing is, they made some kind of big mistake, and we put ourselves in their shoes, and w let's say we made some kind of big mistake, and we're going through life, and it's, it's Christmas time, and we just made this huge mistake. And all that people do because we made this mistake is condemn us and tell us how bad we are. And the last thing we need is someone to just keep on doing that. We need someone to actually come alongside us and help us to overcome this whatever thing we did, this big mistake that we made. And um, I was just thinking about that, you know, as Christmas, see, Christ, God loved us enough. Even though we were still sinners, we made the mis big mistake of going against God, you know, back when Adam sin sinned the first time. He made the mistake of going against God, so we, we were, all became kind of sinners, the whole human race. And then God came down and gave His Son to be cr crucified on the cross to, for our sins. Even though we're still sinners, He gave us this gift of, of Himself in human form coming down as a baby and being born. And that's, that's what Christmas is all about. It's not about how many presents we give to people or anything like that. It's about show, showing people that we care about them and it's about um, celebrating that the fact that God loved us enough to give His Son for us to, to have come down into human form and be able to suffer for us so that we could be saved. And that's exactly the same thing as in everyday life when somebody makes a big mistake. We need to be there for them at that time, at that big mistake, a lot of times when somebody does something that they shouldn't do, we're really quick to look at, look, point the finger at them and look at them and be like, and condemn them right off the bat and be like, dude, I'm not hanging out with that guy because you did that. Did you, did you know that I did that? Then we talk about it, you know, and gossip about it. And One thing I had to think about when and think about committing a sin, a big sin and everything was the thing of, I had to think about David, King David in the Bible. And if you think about that, he actually committed adultery, which is going directly against God's law. And then he also had this guy murdered so that he could marry his, marry his wife. I mean, how wrong is that? That's just wrong. See, a prophet had to come and show David the severity of his sin. He talked about um, the thing of... Um, this rich guy stealing this poor guy's only lamb and having it as a meal for his for his guests instead of going out and killing one of his own and um then he showed David that that's exactly who David is David was a rich man and and David realized how severe that his sin was and then he then God came along and he punished David because of his sin he took his firstborn born child, even though David begged him not to. But God helped him to overcome his sin by punishing him, if you, if you understand what I'm saying here, because he had to punish him to help David to realize even more how severe it is and help him to repent from it and to not want to do it again. So definitely, that, so that's what we need to do sometimes. We need to go into if somebody doesn't know the severity of what they're doing, we need to help them see the severity of it. And then we need to go alongside them and help them through it and help them to overcome it and actually care for them. See, I had a, in my personal experience, I had a friend that, that made this big mistake. I'm not going to mention any names or anything, but after it happened, I was really quick to look at him and be like, dude, what were you thinking? I mean, he was already thinking that in his head, you know, what was I thinking? What in the world did I just do? You know, he probably wanted to hit himself in the head a couple of times and, you know, just totally plummet himself. But 
here, here's a here's the thing. I I condemned him right off the spot. I looked down on him and I judged him, and I shouldn't have. Instead, I should have went alongside him and and say, "Hey, man, I'm here for you. I know you realize what you did, and I just want to help you overcome that." And I didn't do that. I was. I kind of I, it spites me. I wish I would have. I could do it over again and be there for him. But I was. I just wasn't there for him at the time. And and that's that's the that's the whole thing. We need to be able to forgive people, and then be able to comfort them for whatever mistake that they make. Especially in the time of this time of year, it's Christmas time. It's a time of caring about people and showing people what what life is all about. So. Just go out there. That's that's my challenge. Go out there and stop con- just condemning everybody that you see, and start to help them to s- come alongside them and show them that you care about them, and that you care about their their eternal salvation, and not just you you just don't look you're not just judging them and you know condemning them. So that, that's my challenge to you, especially in this Christmas season. Go out and do that. And another thing, in the comment section below, write down a couple things that we judge people, that we condemn people with whatever sin they do, and instead of going alongside with them. Okay guys, this is the 15th Wiz Ive goal because this is the 15th video. It's kind of cool, 15 weeks now. So anyway, the goal for this week, or pretty much forever, is to be there for others. And I put down especially on Christmas. Now the reason I put that down is because, see, that's that's the time of the year that God gave His ultimate gift to us. And even though He didn't, we don't deserve it. He still gave it to us. See, it actually all goes back to um, the beginning when God created the created the earth, created Adam and Eve, and then Adam and Eve sinned against God. They went against God, and God had to punish them and put them out on the earth, and they had to work for their food and all that good stuff. And then he he could he could have condemned the whole human race and just completely got rid of us because well we disobeyed, but he didn't. Instead, he gave his son. He was there for us, and he gave his son as a little, as a human as he came down as a, in human form as a, as his son Jesus Christ, and then he ended up dying for us and for our sins. So. That's what that what that's what Christmas is all about is the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ and that was the point in time when God was there for us so it just makes sense that we need to be there for others in this time especially over Christmas and Second Corinthians two seven is a verse that I have that goes along with this and that is now instead you ought to forgive and comfort him so that he will not be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow see when somebody is um does something wrong they they start becoming guilty and then they kind of get sorrowful about what they just did and if people just keep on pointing the finger at him and don't forgive and comfort him then he will become excessively sorrow and so we need to be there and we need to forgive those people and we need to comfort them and we need to be there for them so that they will not be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow so hey guys it's time for the biblical joke of the week and we'll move on to that right now. Okay, for the joke for the day, I actually found it online at christianjokes.net. It's actually christian jokesnet They have some really good ones. But anyway, this one here, this is how this one goes. One afternoon, a little boy was playing outdoors. He used his mother's broom as a horse and had a wonderful time until it was getting dark. He left the broom on the back porch. His mother was cleaning up the kitchen when she realized that her broom was missing. She asked the little boy about the broom and he told her where it was. She then asked him to please go get it. The little boy informed his mom that he was afraid of the dark and didn't want to go out, go out to get the broom. His mother smiled and said, the Lord is out there too, don't be afraid. The little boy opened the back door a little and said, Lord, if you're out there, hand me the broom. I need you to submit your favorite biblical joke so that I can have it on the show. You can either contact me through the wizife.com website or you can create a video response to this video on YouTube. This has been the Wizife Show. My name is Justin Miller and I approve this message. And I'm out.
was cast upon the Savior. I'm free at last.